Klaus Nienkamper grew up in the furniture business. Born in Duisburg, Germany, his early years were spent helping in his mother's antique shop. He disliked the heavy carved dark wood antiques and uncomfortable chairs, and when he was old enough, apprenticed himself to a Knoll International in Dusseldorf. At the age of 20, Klaus set sail for Canada. He arrived with $36 in his pocket and a language barrier to overcome. Unable to find work in his trade, he worked in a car wash and was eventually hired by a small cabinet maker. Eventually, he was hired by one of the cabinet maker's clients, a furniture designer who wanted to set up a new company called Swiss Design in Canada. You know, and I think that was a fabulous opportunity for me because I'm now, I was now getting closer to what I had uh, to my trade. And uh, fortunately, the timing was good because uh, the Canada, you know, built new airports everywhere. They were now looking for contemporary furniture. Klaus seized the opportunity and the company was soon licensed to manufacture Swiss designed furniture for the Canadian market. During this time, Klaus married Beatrix Hogenkamp and together they purchased an old grocery store on King Street East to showcase the Nienkamper furniture. A few years later, the company acquired a license to manufacture Desade and Knoll products. We were very market driven. Uh, we kind of really addressed what people needed. And we started with upholstery and soft seating. And, uh, but we had to uh, furnish executive offices and that required a desk and the credenza and uh, woodworking. And so slowly the woodworking was added. This basically led to what you see today. Klaus's business insight ensured the Nienkamper name got established. Today, his furniture is manufactured at Nienkamper's 120,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Toronto, creating jobs for more than 220 people. The company produces impeccable crafted modern furniture for corporate and residential environments. The furniture is sold throughout Canada and in Nienkamper showrooms in New York, Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and Los Angeles. They are also represented in Mexico, England, and Hong Kong. They have completed projects in the Middle East, Far East, and Europe. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is create successful business environments uh, at Neen Camper. And uh, you can't do that without looking at every aspect of the business, whether that's working with an architect or an interior designer, or whether that's working with uh, the end user. And uh, we pride ourselves on that. Special projects have included Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau's offices and the Canadian Embassy in Washington. In Canada and abroad, Neen Camper's Made in Canada furniture is coveted in boardrooms and offices of major corporations. Neen Camper has created pieces commissioned for presentation to the Prince of Wales and the Aga Khan. Their commitment to developing innovative, efficient production methods enables the company to manufacture problem-solving designs at cost-effective prices. A key export product is the Vox collection, which accounts for almost half of Neen Camper's revenues. Klaus is truly a success story. As a Canadian entrepreneur, immigrant, and as a person himself. He is well known and recognized for his innovation in his contemporary furniture. I have to say that the latest Fox table that he has uh, brought to market is truly successful because it supports all of the things that my client needs to do business as a mob mobile worker today. In both 2001 and 2002, Neen Camper received the Best of Canada Award, as well as the Canadian Government Export of the Year Award in 2000. Klaus is active in supporting and promoting the design community and has provided scholarship and capital funding to the Ontario College of Art and Design, Ryerson University, and the University of Toronto's Faculty of Architecture. He is a true icon of Canadian design and he gives back to the community and it's all it's pretty rare he's also an entrepreneur a designer himself a very large thinker and somebody that um, we can always depend upon 
Today, Klaus can look back on his life in Canada and enjoy the success he's earned through his hard work, determination, and astute decisions.